Charles, can you comment on the Bitcoin OS integration? Now, this is a very exciting one. For many, many years, I was in the group of people believing that Bitcoin had technologically stopped innovating. They got Taproot in, and it looks like through some clever application of zero-knowledge tech and Taproot, they are able to validate a zero-knowledge proof using Bitcoin on the Bitcoin mainnet. Um, if that's the case, you hypothetically may be able to construct a trustless bridge between Bitcoin and another chain like Cardano. If that's the case, then you could construct hybrid applications where you could have a wallet with a dApp store, which we're building, and add Bitcoin support to that wallet. A Bitcoin user, assuming we have Babel fees, would then be able to select a Cardano DeFi application, interface with it, pay transaction fees in Bitcoin as if it was on the Bitcoin mainnet, and if we build it in the right way, hide the latency consideration, and then play around with that, whether it be a DEX or whatever, get their yields, get their stuff, and they feel like they live in the Bitcoin network. However, actually using Cardano under the hood through a wrapped asset that comes over through a trustless bridge. If we can get there and do that, uh, it's a revolution because there's $1.3 trillion worth of Bitcoin and billions of those are going to want to come take a visit as tourists to Cardano, spend their hard-earned Bitcoin to do cool and interesting things and make money, lose money, all kinds of stuff like that. And being a UTXO system, Bitcoin being a UTXO system, the way that these things will come together like hand and glove, the applications will be quite easy to develop. So there's Boss, Bitcoin OS, and there's Maestro. And then obviously we're going to be doing a lot of research. So the first thing I want to do is I want to work with the Bitcoin OS people to formalize how they've done the zero knowledge proof that's being integrated into Bitcoin. Then what I want to understand is a user experience between these two sides. So if one was to construct a seamless bridge and put these components together, how do you get to a user experience where it's you pick something in a catalog, you click a button and you're using it. And then we can demonstrate how one can use Bitcoin as TVL uh, in Cardano projects and applications. And then we already have the Babel fee SIP written. I think it's SIP 118. Uh, it's called nested transactions. It will be the foundation that we need to implement a feature like this. Uh, so that can get out next year and the next hard fork. And then all this connecting tissue and infrastructure is a super high priority. So we're going to fast track the proofs with Bitcoin OS and understand uh, how, how close they've gotten to that. I think they've solved it, but we have to verify it. And then the latency consideration, something else. There also needs to be a pub sub channel, probably something like MQTT that connects both chains so that you can have information flow seamlessly to wallets on the Bitcoin side and wallets on the Cardano side. It's a big deal. It's a lot of money. A lot of work needs to be done for it, though.